He has been described as incredible and a man whose work is, and I quote, simply jaw-dropping. North Londoner Kelvin Okafor has stunned the art world with pencil portraits that are so lifelike they look as if the subjects have been photographed. Well, drawings by the 28-year-old is of Nigerian heritage are currently on display at the Albemarle Gallery in central London until the end of the month, with the proceeds from any sales going to the Teenage Cancer Trust. Kelvin's work has deservedly won him a number of awards, and I'm delighted to say that he now joins me in the studio. Kelvin, a very good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for having I mean, me. The work is phenomenal. Thanks, Marilyn. Because it, it really does look as if you photograph people. I mean, how do you do it? Lots of patience, lots of time and dedication, lots of patience. I have mean, read somewhere that it takes you about a hundred hours to hours complete average, a drawing. Absolutely. A hundred hours. You know, and it's like they come across as photographic, but that's not really the, the, the goal. I'm very, I'm quite a sensitive emotional person, you know, and I feel very connected with human beings. And there's an essence and a personality about us that I'd like to capture in my drawings, you know, so I'd like to bring that out in people. But, and in that process of falling in love with them, I, I end up spending countless hours really falling in love with every detail and precision of their face and their features. And that's the point as well, because the detail is phenomenal. I mean, Thank you've you. got this picture of uh, Mother Teresa of Calcutta, for example. Yes. Every line tells a story Absolutely. of that life. It's just drawing her, you know, when I was younger, like, I'd done a bit of research in school about her and, you know, seeing all the noble deeds she'd done. So knowing the type of human being she was, I just felt incredibly connected, you know, and just, she was a noble soul. And that made me want to, you know, spend countless hours drawing her, you know, pouring out my soul into the, into the drawing. I know you've brought some of your work with you as well. Hopefully we'll be able to hold it up to the camera. And um, you've got a picture here of a young Elizabeth Taylor. Absolutely. We'll just hold that up to camera two. Again, the detail, phenomenal. That, that, that's taken from a very famous photograph. Yes. But everything, the hair and those beautiful eyes. I mean, why did you choose Liz Taylor in particular? Like Elizabeth Taylor, seeing her in movies and just seeing her in interviews, b beyond the physical you know, appearance about her beauty and her elegancy, it's like she had a really lovely soul, I felt. You know, I didn't have the privilege of meeting her, but just listening to her in her interviews and how she came across as a person, I fell in love with that, you know, and just I really wanted to capture that beauty about her and, you know, express it in the physical. Mm. And you have another picture here of the musician Cor Corinne Bailey Ray, just underneath there. Yes. And that's lovely because she looks very girlish in that picture with the curls and just this incredible innocence coming from the eyes. Yes. Like um, drawing Corinne Bailey Ray because she's one of my favourite musicians and. Drawing her and listening to her music playing at the same time was just such a euphoric feeling because the connection is even more. I'm hearing her voice while drawing her. So as she's singing, she's coming to life on paper. So it's me. almost as like if she's actually sitting there in front of Absolutely. you. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> How would you see this then, as a tribute to her? Absolutely. You know, um, I'm a fan of her music, you know, and a fan of her as a human being, a person as well, and just really wanted to capture, capture that soulfulness about her. Mm. I mean, I said in the introduction that the pictures are very photographic. You yeah. said that this isn't what you've intended to do. It's, it's just one of those happy accidents. Is, is that a fair interpretation? It was just something that you stumbled upon, the technique? Well, I was eight years old when I first fell in love with pencils. And ever since, I've always wanted to create art in a lifelike manner because I've always felt connected drawing something with great detail and precision, you know, and um, as I grew older, as I developed as a human being, as a person, you know, and understanding myself in this world and my gifts and talents, I really, when I was younger, I was always been very emotional and sensitive, and I found that drawing for me was a, an outlet. It was my way of expressing myself. And the more lifelike I created my drawings, the more connected I felt, you know, and the more I could really express myself and release. So as years went by, I just decided to build upon that skill, build upon that skill. And now I'm here today, very, you know, humbled and appreciative for the mm. recognition. Because you, you went to art me. college as well, and just, just reading about the, the, the website at Middlesex University, they were just astonished at, at what you were producing. You're one of their most famous graduates. <laughs> <laughs> it's so surreal to, to, to think that, you know, because my experience in um, Middlesex University was a wonderful one, you know. Um, the life of an artist is quite a lonesome one, so I spent a lot of my time alone. And I commuted, so I didn't really have the luxury of having a university lifestyle in dorms and the partying. It was just more about the work and the focus for me. But, you know, there was a few tutors who, um, and lecturers who encouraged my style and 
that made me feel you know, even more confident in what I was producing. So after university, just really decided to build my portfolio you know, and just really utilise everything I have in my craft. And four years later, three to four years later, 2012 was the first year that I tangibly put my box forward into exhibitions. And um, I was winning awards. It was like a snowball effect. And so you were really surprised by this, that the, the reaction that people have to your uh, work. Absolutely, because um, it's, it's wonderful to know that someone can feel it can prompt an emotion, you know, it can make someone feel inspired, happy, challenged. It's, it's a wonderful thing because this is what I love to do and to know that someone can appreciate it, there's no other greater feeling. And it's interesting looking at the range of your work because some people like to confine themselves to celebrities. Yeah. The impression I get is that you don't care who they are, Absolutely. just as long as they have a face that you connect with. They've got to have a certain something about them that you can just lock onto and explore. Absolutely, you know, um, I feel like celebrities are dehumanised, you know, they're human beings at the end of the day. Maybe we're just a bit more money than most of us are normal, <laughs> but, you know, they're human beings and I'm more attracted into the influence they've had on society, you know, and uh, like Mother Teresa, for example, or King Hussein, they've all had, you know, done really good deeds and influence and help humanity, and that's what I loved about drawing some of the subject models that I've drawn, like Tiny Temper, his music, the influence, you know. So when you're actually drawing musicians, do you put their music on as well? You did that for Corinne Ray, yes. ba Bailey Ray. Is that something that's very typical? Yeah, because like it's that connection that I strive for. Before I draw any piece, start any piece, I, I spend hours and days studying the subject really obsessively. I have dreams about them, you know. And after that intense level of study, you know, when I when it's time to put the the pencil to paper, I just feel really, really connected already. And then hearing their music is just a bonus or hearing their voice is just a bonus. Well, Kelvin, your work is absolutely splendid. I mean, Thank seeing you. it on, on this graphic is just amazing in itself, but to actually look at the prints, just mind-blowing. But Thank congratulations, you Thank you. good luck with the exhibition, and I hope you sell many more of these and that uh, the rest of the country, the world, will get to see them because they really are splendid. Thank you very, very Kelvin, much. Kelvin, thank you.